Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's Mr. K. In this video, I am bringing you all a chess game analysis video. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded in a while, I know, I know, I haven't uploaded in a while, and I apologize. I really do. The reason is I've been busy with school. Now that I'm on school holidays, I have a bit of extra time, and I'm putting that time to good use by uploading a YouTube video. So I don't want to bore you guys too much, so let's hop right into it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's a chess game analysis video. But this game ends in a trap. Let me show you how. Everything looks normal with my pawn going to e4 and my opponent's going to e5. Normal opening, c4, c6, f3, f6. This is all normal. My knight, whenever I move it to the g3 square, always looking to see if it's able to capture the e5 pawn. But most commonly, you'll find it being protected by a knight. But one thing that's not always protected is the g5 square. So, as you would have imagined, that is exactly where I went. Now, that square creates lots of threats on the f7 square. Now, I would commonly take with my knight, attacking the queen and the rook, and my opponent would obviously move the queen and I capture the rook. But my opponent saw that and they moved their pawn to d5. After my opponent moved their pawn to d5, I captured with my pawn. And as you would have imagined, my opponent captured back once again, opening a little secret attack on my knight. Most commonly, you would think that I would move to d5, my opponent would recapture and everything would be fine. Normal, normal game. But you can also see the sneaky little eval went up. Why? Let me show you in a second. I sacrificed my knight. Why? You think it's free? Well, it is, but everything comes with its own price. Doesn't have to be money, does it? Well, let me tell you. My opponent captured my knight. Now, that brings a check at f3 with my queen. Now, the right move for my opponent is e6 with the king. Why? I can't not checkmate them. The only thing I can do, capture the knight, and we both recapture, and we trade queens. I would be in a better position. But that's just one way. Another way is my opponent moved back to e8. It would be a mate and a couple of moves once again. But my opponent decided to move to g8. You can see that eval quickly went up and started saying made in three and let me tell you it ended in three moves why captured the knight at d5 my opponent recaptured with the queen free queen but the queen doesn't really matter because it's going to be a checkmate why all my opponent has left to do protect with the bishop and after they do that it is a checkmate now, if you guys found that trap good and you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.